It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The American is 31. The Russian is 45. He is the six inch taller party. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here gentlemen, is Bruce This Buffett. is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out. Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, the Ghost. You can give me your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter, taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What if you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Flush right hand is true. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Big punch lands. Head kick lands, he's hurt. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Come on. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big elbow. Big and kick. Real quick leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head of the clinch. Big call for the first land. Now he gets back in range. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Oh, big knee. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad.
right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Real nice body. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Head kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Whoa. It was a good night if that landed. Kick lands for him there. That was a thudding leg kick. Ooh. Knee to the body. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of those. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing his leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Big head kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him. Oh! Go get him. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submissions. But those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He loaded up on that right hand, too. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Lee's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid power. Oh, yeah! Whips on the right hand. Watch knees to the body. Lee going for the body. Missed with that kick. Right hook to the head block. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, big punch land. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Back and forth we go. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. 
lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Nice strike. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Great punch. And he caught the kick. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on him. Right on the cut, and he's targeted it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't... Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. There is the tap. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it, Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the Octagon. And here we go inside the Ladies Octagon the for the official decision. So, first off, in this contest, at three minutes, 42 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by tap out. The goal. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.